This is Coogan Cassis Rifle TV in association with Macklin's Jim Marbell. We're at the final press conference here for World War III. With me, I've got WBO lightweight champion Terry Flanagan. Right, Tell? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah? Yeah. What did you make of the press conference? There's a few people on the table there, weren't there? Yeah, it's Ahmed on it. Uh, yeah, it was good. Uh, he's American and he likes to talk. He's, uh, I just keep it short and sweet, so. There will come a time where you're going to have to not keep it short and sweet. You know me, I've, I'll never change your life. I'm not getting no better at these interviews. Yeah. Well, I think you have got better. Yeah. I remember the first time we interviewed you, I think James interviewed you actually. Yeah. I think you said four words. So, yeah, so I've moved on now to about eight. But now you have uh, an actual world title that sits to your right. Tail. So, you know. But um, Magdalena obviously managed to challenge you for your title. Um, it's something that has to happen, and you kind of want to, without overlooking him, get out of the way so you can focus on other fights. No, I'm not overlooking no one, but yeah, it's a fight where I want to get out of the way and prove really that did it, when, when I fought for it, it wasn't a fluke and put on my best performance yet. Do you feel like you have got a little bit of criticism after the speed of fight, the way it happened? Yeah, it's all that anyone's gone on about, and it's, no one will ever give me the credit deserve, never. There will always be that fight because I'm not outspoken and stuff like that, and I'm not one to shout my mouth off on Twitter. They haven't got the back in the sky and stuff like that. They, they're going to get more airtime and stuff than me and they'll get the, the bigger fights when they don't deserve them. And yeah, it's just one of them things. It's always going to be like that. Do you feel like you're going to have to make a statement to sort of cement your position as world champion? Because like I said, it did happen in some sort of strange circumstances, the fight with Zipida. It wasn't your fault, it's the way it happened in Nasty Boxing. Mm. But a good performance against Magdalena on Saturday you can... You know, it won't maybe matter, people. It will, will matter. It will, because it will if matter. you go out and knock him out in two rounds and you say, oh, yeah, it, it not fought no one, or it could be an, it could be an hard fight and I win it on by a, by a round and you say, yeah, he struggled with that Magdalena, or it won't matter. It not matter, it's just a, the, that's, how I, that's how I feel anyway. Personally, like, I'll never get the credit deserved ever. In a division, obviously, where there is a lot of talks about lightweights. Yeah, and like I, like, said, it, like yeah. I said before about the, the rankings, saying some of the rankings, it was ranked like, where was it, fifth or something in, in Britain? And like, are you mad? Do you think I, would you put me fifth? That, I'm not the one of them who'll go out and say I'm the best and this and that, but I'm nowhere near fifth. I'm not the top, you know, the one with the world title, so I should be at the top in mm. my eyes, but like if. If I was ranked at number one and say someone like Mitchell Crowell had a world title and he was at number five, I'd think, they're mad where they got them rankings on. And I don't know, it's just... Listen, you are the world champion at the end of the day, so like I said, effectively, you know, people will, are, want to go and chase you and, and use your name because you have this belt, so it is what it is. And regards to you not maybe getting the credit you deserve, there could be a number of reasons for that, but... Cool, what would you say? The main one is just not, not being... No, I'm not listening. It's yeah. not of anything. I don't urge you to yeah. shout your mouth off and start slagging and calling out boxes. Because that's all everyone says to me. You need to start opening your mouth a bit. You need to start talking, shouting people. I shouldn't have to shout people out. I'm world champion. Frank's done a great job with me. He's got me to a world, world title to win it and now defending it in my own town. So I'm thankful for that because... To do that with me is something else, really, because I shouldn't really have a world title, should I? But by off what people were saying, I'm not well, good it doesn't matter. Listen, people's yeah. opinions and they're yeah. relevant to facts. So the fact is, you have got a world title. So you know, it's, it's down to you to keep hold of it and and prove whoever is that and you're wrong. But as regards to you, what you should be doing, I wouldn't ever say to you, oh, you should start going calling people out just because everyone else does it. But if there's something you think or you feel, maybe then you should get that across because that's probably what it is. If there's something you genuinely think, I think you should be getting that across. Yeah. So you've got a bee in your bonnet, Terry. Yeah. No, it's just, I'm not, I'm not really like that. I'm, I'm not, I just take every fight as it is and whoever they put in front of me, I'll beat. Like I've done 28 times in the past and like I'm confident of doing on Saturday night and hopefully on to the next one after that. Whoever that is, I'll do the same. Obviously, there has been some speculation over a potential fight in the future with Derry Matthews. He's kind of got his own situation with the WBA, but you know, you said to James yesterday that's a, that's a fight that you'd welcome as well. Yeah, well, uh, I think they've just asked me then that on 
the sun or whatever or the evening news was saying I fight with Matthews in December but I'm not gonna look past this one but I'm not I'm not fighting again before Christmas, I'm having a break. So I don't lose told them that when if I come through this one that me and Debbie in December because it's not gonna happen. Uh, before Christmas anyway. Might happen February, March but not before Christmas. Alright, well listen, before anything happens, you've got a job to do against uh, Diego Magdalena. So, yeah. uh, Magdalena, rather, get the job done and then you can move on. Well done. Alright, Terry, have you got anything else you want to finish off by saying? Uh, nah. I want, I do. I want to thank anyone? Nah, I just thank Frank and that for getting me that title, like, like I say. By rights, I shouldn't have it going off what people say, so, yeah, just done a good job with that. Listen, you've got the title, forget yeah. about what people say, just go and do your job in the ring on Saturday and oh, uh, we'll eventually shut people up. So. Cheers. Alright mate, Kugan Cass is Terry Flanagan, IFL TV, thank you very much.